Um, Richard Nixon, they are mind blowing. And maybe you read about them as they were released, and maybe you saw the New York Times article, or maybe you read a book in which it's printed. You haven't heard them in context, and it is just staggering. But, but the important thing of what you're saying is that the epic has to be intimate. Otherwise, it's actually not epic, because epic is part of stuff. The, you know, there's a religious phrase, Eastern religious phrase, that says, as above, so below. Or another way to say it is that the architecture of the solar system is the architecture of the atom. Yeah, and the story that filmmakers like yourself, that storytellers create, are the framework that allows us to understand the truth because the truth is too unfathomable to take in all at once. And there are many truths. And there are and many truths. This is the point that Vietnam reminds you. It's particularly, you know, the first casualty in war, they say, is the truth. But you saw it on both sides. It, it's everywhere. And I mean, we, you know, you saw the scene of the, the wealthy and the privileged and the politically connected in Vietnam getting out of it. Obviously, there's a concurrent uh, section in our film about who had to serve and who could get out of it, at least initially, and who the burden fell disproportionately on for that service and for that guy. And it's the Michael Holmeses and the Roger Harrises and the John Musgraves, the silent majority who did that fighting, and many of us. And the Vietnam and the Vietnam farmers and, and less than the elite. Yes. Um,